Hey everyone, welcome to the episode. In this episode right here, I'm going to be showing you guys how to render the view using JBuilder. Now, I know there are multiple tools out there for rendering JSON views with Rails. Uh, another popular option is Active Model Serializer. And, uh, you know, take a look at it. If you like that, go for it. But I prefer to use the JBuilder because it's so simple and clean and so easy to use. Uh, and it, the structure that you write in your code looks almost like the JSON that it actually outputs. So for me, that just works better. So I'm going to go with that. So the first thing we're going to have to do um, is we need to set up the gem file. So I'm going to head over into the gem file here and comment out JBuilder. Now, uh, if you're building uh, APIs, uh, you kind of need something like JBuilder because we can't continue going on using something like this forever because, you know, what if we need to output more data with nested uh, objects and stuff like that? Uh, you can do that to a certain extent with as JSON. However, uh, it's much cleaner to actually have a real view to work with. That's why we're going to use JBuilder moving forward. And hence the episode, so I can show you guys how to actually set it up and use it. So um, what's going to happen now is this code is going to be a lot simpler because we're going to delegate a lot of, you know, how we're going to build the actual JSON response to JBuilder itself. So once we've got the gem uh, in our gem file, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over into the terminal and do a bundle install over here. Uh, I'm going to start up the server. So as you can see here, I have JBuilder already. Uh, I'm going to start up the server again, and I'm going to refactor the code to use JBuilder. So uh, I'm going to head over into the view folder over here. I'm going to create a new folder called v1. Uh, I'm going to create another folder called sessions. Uh, and it's v1 because you know our controller is namespaced under v1. Uh, and now in the sessions, I'm going to create a new file called create.json.jbuilder. So uh, what do we actually need to do now is since we have JBuilder, it's going to be aware of which format we're going to use in our controllers. So um, for example, if I just send a request now, uh, so first of all, let me go ahead and write uh, out the, the you know, data that we're going to respond with. So I'm going to have a json.data do, and, and then we're going to have a json.user do, and... I'm going to talk a little bit later about why we have this structure, but that's going to come later. For now, which I'm just going to use this structure because it makes the most sense. Uh, JSON.call, and then we're going to have the at user as our first parameter, and then we're going to have uh, email and authentication token. So um, as you can see, the structure looks very, very uh, similar to what's going to be output. Like we're going to have a data uh, key and then we're going to have a user inside the data we're going to have user and in the user we're going to output the email and authentication attributes and the object that we're passing in which means now we have to use instance variables so we have to go into our sessions controller here and convert uh, this to uh, instance variable and what what's going to change in the render method here the render function here is that we need to change all this remove all this to be create so that's just going to be the name of the action we're going to use uh, to actually, it's going to map to the name of the view that we have over here. Uh, this is pretty standard Rails stuff. If you don't know this, you need to check out the Rails Foundation series. By the way, I'm going to be doing more episodes for that very, very soon. So um, that should work. We have one more thing we need to be aware of. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make the request. It's going to fail. I'm going to show you guys a couple of ways to fix it. So I'm going to head over into PAW here, and I'm going to do a sign-in request because that's the one we're refactoring. Uh, I'm going to get a 500 error, and if we take a look at the error, we're going to see that it says missing template. But hmm, we just created the template. Why is it saying? It's because by default, Rails respond to the HTML format, as you can see over here. And so what we need to do is set the format by default to JSON uh, for our API. I mean, after all, this is an API. Uh, the other way we can do to fix this is basically in PAW, we can set the content type. So I'm going to head over into the header here. And if I set the content type uh, to application JSON, it should work uh, or actually not work. Uh, actually, actually, it doesn't matter. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to actually set the, um, the actual proper uh, you know, format in our uh, routes. So I'm going to head over into the routes. Dot RB. And here I'm going to do defaults 
format, JSON. And here, now, by default, because we are, this is a Rails API only uh, app. So by default, we're just going to respond to the JSON format. Uh, basically, that's we're going to make sure that all requests that come in need to be in JSON format. And that's how we set that in the routes. So now if I go back to make the request again, uh, we're going to get a successful uh, response. And you can see here the data is wrapping the user is and, and the, the true attributes are in the user object here in our JSON response like that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the lowdown on um, JBuilder. So moving forward, uh, we're gonna clean up our uh, controller, and basically, like for example, in here, we're gonna actually use JBuilder uh, to re return all our JSON responses moving forward. So with that, uh, that pretty much wraps it up. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel if you found this useful. Also, become a member uh, so you that get access to all our member exclusive content. It's just nine bucks a month, totally worth your money. Go for it, and you're supporting this whole operation here. We appreciate your support. Thank you very much, guys. See you guys in the next episode.